Welcome to another Plan 6 Part video. Today's video, Triumph Spitfire disc or rotor and brake pad replacement. So, uh, yes, I normally do the TR6s, but here at Plan 6 Parts we do walk in other cars. So this video, we're going to be, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace your brake pads on your, in your caliber and how to replace the rotors or discs on your front hub. All right, so let me zoom in a bit. Let's get started. So, uh, first you want to do is remove the actual caliber. So at the back, you have two bolts at the back. Um, let me show right around here. We'll come back to the caliber. There's one here. And there's the other one down there. So we're going to remove that and that will allow the caliber to come all the way up, away. I brought all the tools with me because I know I need them. No, me. I'll bring them and I'll still won't have enough. So this is a 1971 Spitfire. Um, it's getting a whole new interior put in. But since I have it, I just picked it up. Uh, I'm gonna get it ready for resale. So if anybody's watching this now and it's not sold, or the video's pretty recent, then it will be for sale. They have a plate plate to go with it. Slide it off, and the good thing about this is I can sit it right up here on top of the, uh, the upper wishbone. So now that's off. Basically, it's the disc itself is pretty uh, pretty handy to off after this. What to do is you have to get in at the castle nut in here. So I said I brought everything, but I didn't because I'm supposed to have a flat head screwdriver. Yes. Right. Let me just move that. You're gonna get a flat head. Hold on. So I'm going to take this off, and uh, now I'm going to forget something else. There's no great way of getting this off, like you, you'll always leave a little indent in it. Um, you should only have to work on it bit by bit. But I just normally do a little tap to see if it's moving and just keep rotating it around, and eventually it pops in. This is basically just a dust cover at the end of the day. There is a little pinhole here, so you can always use that to your advantage if you like. We're almost off. All right, here we go. Now, as usual, we're left with the, the most, sorry, you're left with the usual stuff. You're left with your castle nut and you have a split pin in here. So we're gonna remove the split pin. I should have a pliers to do this way, right? All right. Now that that's off, this, the castle nut, as you can see, comes off by hand. The one important thing is never to ratchet this thing on. Well, yes and no. When you're putting the on, you'll ratchet it till it stops moving, then you'll unwind it because this is the difference of uh, your wheel bearing falling apart or not. I have a nice dirty castle nut. Add some, once you get that off, then you do have a, a spacer here. Just pull it off, it just slides off. Oh, it comes. Now, don't lose your bearing. Right? Uh, I will do another video on how to repack these because since I have it out, what I'm gonna do with the bearing is I'm gonna clean it, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna end up cleaning it and uh, repacking it with nice fresh uh, grease. And I may do the rear one as well. So I'll show you how to take that out. So, oh, do you know what? I'll make it a two part video for now. This is part one, this is getting the disc off, uh, and so on. The disc is held in by the four bolts at the back there, so once you take these off, the disc should just fall off. Uh, but we are going to pop out the uh, inner bearing. So, 
Yinna Baron is has this little collar in here. All right, and the only way to get that collar off is actually through the front. So what you do is you'll find a little gap here. Um, so you're not looking at it. you'll find a little gap here to actually get past and actually just tap it out. That's how you'd get the inner collar out as well in the front. You go from the back. There is a little gap there to get it out. Um, so we're gonna tap this out. We're gonna tap this collar out, and then the bearing will just follow out. So. <clears throat> Let me put the. I can't unfortunately get the camera to look any more low, I don't think. I can. So, all I'm doing is I'm just getting in underneath and just just pushing in. So, just. Let's see. In under the lip here. And just, just push up. Just nice and easy. And then, there you go. The collar comes out. And now the bearing will pop out. It's important as well not to get mixed up with the bearings to get them between the front and the rear. So always make note which ones you're doing which. If you wanted to take out the sleeve, like I says now you have access to it. And in there, amongst all the grime, there is a gap you'll see. And all you do is you just basically get a, there it is there. Flathead screwdriver or anything, get in here, tap it, and you'll take the inner collar out for the bearing. And the exact same for the uh, for this one here. You'll swing it around. You'll look through all the grime and gunk if you haven't cleaned it out and look for the little gap and just tap it out, which in this case, I don't know if you can see it, but there it is there. See the space? It leaves you enough space for it to tap the collar out and then you put a new one in. So in this case though, all I've left to do is take off the actual disc. So, so I am gonna cheat on this one a bit. I'm not gonna lie because I normally don't use the tools. Want to make the video shorter. <laughs> now that it's off. Basically, all you have to do is, sorry, I have to, it pops off with that. Now that's off, all we have to do is tap it with a hammer until it pops off. Yeah, you wonder why am I tapping the disc itself? Well, I'm changing the disc, so it's a little irrelevant anyway, so. There we go. All right. Terrible rotor was off. And now I have the front hub loose. What I'm gonna do is join me in part, I suppose part two of this, and I'm gonna clean this up and flush it out, and I'm gonna put new bearing grease in it, and I'm gonna take my uh, bearings, and I'm gonna clean them out and repack them. So I'll show you how to repack them. All I'll do to clean this out, and uh, don't lose your front washer, is I'm gonna basically get nice hot water with degreaser. I'm gonna wash this thing out. Um, it's fine to do that, as long as you make sure it's dry before you repack it. So if you're gonna do that, what I'll do is I'll wash it out, I'll blow it out with the airline, then I'll spray it with some carb cleaner, just to make sure it's nice, clean, and dry, and then I'll have it ready, and I'll show you how to repack this. Um, there's nothing wrong with this bearing, I don't have to change it, uh, because there was nothing wrong with it to begin with. Um, so I'm just basically gonna give it a nice, fresh uh, bearing grease, and we'll go from there. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. That's how we remove our uh, hubs. If you weren't doing any of bearings, then you'd simply just do reverse. The, although we're going to show you, the I'll show you in the next video anyway. How we're going to reinstall it, we're putting it on and putting it all back on the um, and back together on our. Uh, oh, now I can't think of the name of the shaft. So uh, yeah, and then we'll go through the brake pads as well. So um, thanks for watching. <laughs>